that belief, that core, that little thing that says struggle is bad, that is your biggest problem. Mm. That's your biggest problem. Because if we could remove that belief, then when things go wrong, you'd be looking at it and going, ah, crud, still not quite where I need to be. Let me go mm. figure out how to fix it. Let me spend some time on it. And that's how I used to be in undergrad. There's a very big difference between effort and struggle. But my students often, but they're very I've always struggled. No, no, no. There's a very big difference here. In the past, we put hours in and we see results. That's exactly it. Right? Yeah. That's not struggling. That's working. So Yvonne, if I, if I study for four hours, I come out knowing more stuff and I'm able to do more stuff. And then if I spend another four hours and another four hours, and so we have this unwritten equation. That's mm -hmm. what you believe it's supposed to look like. Yeah. An hour of study equal an hour of result, whatever that, you know, whatever that is. But like, well, like if I study, yeah, I've got to get something out of it. And I walk away from most of it sometimes not. Stupider than before. Yeah. I'm, I can't even tell you what I've just done. Your expectation of what's supposed to be going on is driving how you're feeling. It's driving how you're seeing things. It's driving how you interpret them. It's driving what you're doing. So you believe that in order for this to work, what's supposed to happen is I go to class, I put in my hours and then I see progress. Mm. And it's like, it's like a step, you know, one step, one step, one step, because that's what you, that's how your life works. That's how, mm. so your underlying belief about what the world looks like is that if I put the hours in, I get the results. That makes sense to me. That is a very, 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 very core belief. Very mm. core belief. We don't articulate it. Because that's, that's but, what we've been told our whole life. Well, it's just, it's, it's not even told. It's just that that's how we watch and that's how things work. That's like, that's yeah. how it works. In equals out. Input, output. Da, 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 da. That's, that's what all we've ever known, right? Mm. Now, all of a sudden, you're in a place where effort equals nothing and you're getting nothing in return and it's just this black hole. And then you go, okay, okay, all right. Okay, so let me put some more effort in. Black hole, nothing, silence. Okay, so let me put a little more effort in. Black hole, silence. But now we're panicking because something's wrong. What does this mean? Exactly. How does this work? Then people are telling you, yeah, but you should be doing this and you should be experiencing that. People that are outside of this and, and aren't, don't have these types of personalities and backgrounds and this, this type mm -hmm. of studying just don't understand how big this is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. and it definitely was very, it was the same for me. I had very similar, mm -hmm. um, I call it trauma. Yeah. Because- What's happening is that I've spent my entire life believing that this is how the world looks and yeah. this is how it works. And so I am operating on the basis of how I have always known the world to work. Yeah. And now all of a sudden I get to this point when it counts the most and now all of a sudden my effort equals nothing. And so to, for me, my world shattered. Mm. because I had no idea how to fix it. I had no idea whether I could fix it. I don't know what I was doing wrong. Uh, the first thing I failed was test one. And I think I, you know, I went from getting, having a distinction in undergrad. Yeah. Test one, I got 29%. Yeah. And so it was the first thing I'd ever failed. And my, my world shattered. This was the first I thing was, that I failed so badly. Yeah. What are you, that, nothing. Nothing. There yeah. was it was gut wrenching. I was completely alone, um, and I don't think people, I don't think people uh, outside of that can can comprehend just how big that is. Because people around was just like, well, so you failed an exam, like, well, so you failed the test, not the final exam, or whatever. So you mm. failed the test, like, so work a little bit harder. Mm. And and it took me quite a long time, and that's also why I do what I do. It took me quite a long time. Like, why was it so significant? Why did it, it paralyze me? I couldn't study for two months. Yeah. I didn't study for two. Why did it paralyze me? Because it broke my world. My mm. whole world was built on an understanding that if I put the effort in, I would get the results. Oops. And that I had put the effort in and I was able to get results and that I was smart. And now within one test, it's all broken. And I don't know who I am anymore. So I'm not smart. Because if I was smart, I wouldn't be getting 29% for the shit. Exactly. And it's not like I didn't work for it. So don't come and tell me, oh, well, Yvonne, it's because you didn't put the effort. No, I did put the effort in. 